As a freshman, Jimmy Masney, seen here in the maroon t-shirt, is already considered one of the best high school wrestlers in Illinois in his weight class. But because of a ruling by the IHSA, he's not allowed to wrestle for his high school. The drama started when he decided to attend Marion Central Catholic in Woodstock, despite his family living more than 50 miles away in Oregon, Illinois. He's thriving in school. He's with people that we trust. He's with people that we know that love him as their own. Masty has been homeschooled for the last couple of years, and his mother says he decided to attend Marion this year because of the quality of the school's education. It's pretty good. I like the small class sizes and teachers. To make it more convenient, Masty stays with a longtime family friend during the week. But that family friend also happens to be the mother of the school's wrestling coach, who says he had nothing to do with the arrangement. The fact that Jimmy would be unable to compete for four years if he continues to attend Marion Central uh, High School is a travesty to me. The IHSA also suspended Coach Blanton for a year. In a statement, IHSA Director Craig Anderson says, regardless of intent or any prior relationship, the facts of this case led me to believe that the IHSA recruiting bylaws were violated when the student athlete in question was provided housing by relatives of the head coach. The family, meantime, has filed a lawsuit in court trying to overturn the IHSA decision. His family says Masney is doing well at school, getting straight A's in his first semester, but he also wants to wrestle. An incoming freshman, which has never been done before in the state of Illinois for my research, has been banned from competing in a three-month sport, and it's just disappointing. The IHSA was served with the lawsuit today. The school is hoping for a temporary restraining order, which would allow Masney and his coach to return to the team before the end of this season. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.